Now, we are going to see what is the applied aspect of Vedic science. First of all, I just uh, want to let you know that uh, I am Dr. Kush Del Choksi. Most of you are know me, that who am I and uh, what I am doing. Uh, I am the owner and founder of the Om Yoga and Ayurveda Clinic. Uh, I am running this uh, practice uh, since last like, six years in Melbourne. And uh, throughout my life, I try my best to learn what is yoga, what is Ayurveda. And one day, these things come in my mind that, um, yes, we do know what is yoga, but lots of people doesn't know what is Ayurveda. And uh, whomsoever knows what is yoga, what is Ayurveda, but most of the people might don't know that it's coming from the Veda. And what is Veda? Uh, does it have any science in it? Uh, wherever modern science says that uh, this is the invention is happening, most of the people or uh, whomsoever knows about the Veda and things, they say, oh, this thing is already mentioned in Veda or this thing is already mentioned in our uh, sciences and this and that. This, does this work all the time? I don't think so. So that's why I thought better I create some awareness among the people who has no idea that Veda is also a part of science or Veda also has science in it. So this is the point we are going to cover today. What is science? What is Vedic science? What are the similarities in both sciences? What's the difference in Vedic science? How can we practice both at a time or both at once? Why should we allow it in our life? What can be done in regular life to enjoy the Vedic science? And some of the practical tools I'm going to share with you. Some of them you know very well, some of them you are not practicing. So we hold each other's hand and we try to practice our Vedic science. As we, most of the people who homes ever here, are all are Indians. And I really appreciate all your help to spread this word in the world that what is Veda, what is Vedic science. So thank you very much to join us today. Uh, what is science? Can anybody tell me what is science? I just mentioned here a little bit, but in your point of view. Anybody, uh, whomsoever has a background of science, can uh, tell me that what is uh, science? Uh, just unmute yourself and please quickly tell me. Uh, we have very short of the time and the subject is really very vast. Uh, Kalpeshti? You are in an IT field, so I hope you know very well what is science. It is the biggest uh, victory in a science field. Science is usually uh, based on facts. It's uh, like, you know, you, you, you have a theory or you, you need facts to prove it's correct or not. I mean, it, that's my yes. opinion. Yeah, okay. I, would, I would say the science is basically related to the like of observations, the facts and and like how we like you know uh, experience the things like you know in a daily routine like you know when we yeah <laughs> on a high level yeah okay yes so that's the basically here is the like systemic knowledge of the physical or material world gained through observation and experimentation so whatever the material world where we are living in this world. Uh, we can observe, we can experiment, and we can learn. So can we tell me uh, why sun is always coming from the east side? And it's going to the uh, west side only. Can anybody tell me? Yes, please. Uh, is anybody has an uh, understanding that why sun is coming from the eastern east side and doesn't matter whatever the part of the world you are living it's always coming from the east side and going to the west side as well 
that that's how god has arranged you know? <laughs> <laughs> but science doesn't believe in it reena ji please yeah because of the direction of rotation excellent of the, of the earth yes so this is the way uh, science always give an answer that why it's happening what is happening why it's happening but some answers are un un uh, uh, what we can say untreatable or we can say never ever has been um mentioned that why, why it's happening so tell me what is vedic science internet i have found on internet what is vedic science it doesn't have any answers and that's what we are going to start so this is the googly question for us as well science based on veda <laughs> mm -hmm. yes perfect yeah, and, what is, it, and what is and what is veda everybody welcome please join this session and unmute yourself and give me answer whatever comes in your mind so that's where we can learn each other from each other this is not about i am telling and you are listening this is about yeah. maybe vedic science is what we are yeah. using maybe in our everyday life but we don't know there's a science up behind mm -hmm. it something mm -hmm. sorry i don't get you pinati i say maybe in our routine life we are using some method or something which is a, belongs to science but we don't know in our routine life that's a science like or that's just like, called vedic science or you no. say it's science uh exactly i, I don't know but just <laughs> <laughs> the ancient <laughs> hindu scriptures <laughs> yeah i think so. i think so we don't use the vedic science in our day to day routine now because that has like it been already like you know uh, kind of hidden like you know from our day to day life and we are heading like in a kind of a artificial life where we don't actually like you know uh, apply all this vedic science but what yeah. is the vedic science is like you know it's come out from like you know uh, uh, from the our rishi munis like you know our uh, they have like you know had a true experience of their life right and then they yeah. have they have said they are like no experience knowledge yeah that the way we should live in our life yeah that's very okay everybody is agree with uh, kalpesh ji what is vedic science mean also maybe you know in our some some of our festival we have some kind of you know religion which we need to follow like this day we need to do fast with which we need to follow maybe behind mm -hmm. that also some vedic science yeah uh, i i think these are like signs written in ancient hindu scriptures like which are called vedas but we normally don't understand what it is <laughs> yes yes absolutely that has the absolutely correct understanding uh lots of things already mentioned lots of things we are using in our life lots of things which we sometimes asked by our uh, kids our next generations and we don't have any answers that's called vedic science right uh, whatever the science has answers uh we have on google and we can give it to them or uh, we can give share the link to other people so that they can get understanding but basic science means practical and proven knowledge based on wisdom so we you can't show what is the knowledge it's a wisdom means you get the understanding that's called vedic science and it helps to achieve materialistic goals as well as beyond it so veda also believe in god as kalpesh ji said uh if the god has created this is the way it should be and that's why it is like that way all right so is anybody has any question in here i hope you understand what is vedic science mean so it's the practical and proven knowledge right so 
Now, what are the similarities in both sciences? Whatever the new, where we are living in this uh, 21st century, uh, that so, science and science, which we can say it's olden science or the, you know, it's like a, uh, it's like a, a very uh, ancient science. So what is the similarities in both sciences? So evidence-based knowledge. Might you are asking that um, Vedic knowledge or Vedic science, it doesn't have any evidence. Anybody has any idea? What is the evidence of Vedic science? I, I don't have an exact answer, but I saw that uh, the pranayama techniques they they showed on Ma, they won't get them Mahadev. So basically, in that uh, the God is teaching the these pranayama techniques. So I I was like surprised. Yeah, we do. Yeah, right. I've seen like you know I've seen some of the uh, some of the like you know uh, stories basically where uh, like you know we had a we had a like. Uh, uh, what they right? We call it why they have done a op, like you know, in a back in like ages b before the BC, even like you know, that they have performed the operations on the eyes, they replace the heart, hearts, all this related, right? But then, obvious that's not uh, it's not uh, written, like it's not like uh, have any documents to prove that, right? So, for example, we used to have like you know, the the planes as well, right, in the Vedic. Yes, uh, Pushpak Viman, the first one we can say. Ravan has yeah, the Pushpak Viman. Correct. Even, even Kadam, Kadam Muni used to have one. Yes, one the, one yeah. well. Kadam Muni also has this thing. Yes, that, absolutely right. So this is all the thing which we don't have any idea that how and where they uh, were exist or they were there or not. But definitely they have a proven science and they have uh, in the practice at that time. Easy to adopt. So Vedic science also, we are going to learn a little bit uh, afterwards. So I can show you that how it's easy to adopt. Uh, useful in routine life, how it could be useful and helping us to live our life in a more comfortable way. We all know about uh, comfortable, like uh, in this uh, COVID situation, we are uh, always uh, uh, having at our place. We are working, we are uh, schooling, uh, we are doing each and everything on our online, right? So this is the best uh, gift uh, from the science to us. What happens when, if we don't have these all things? We go back to Vedic Kala. What happened if we don't have these all uh, systems in our place? What we do? If we want to meet other people, if we want to teach these kind of things, if we don't have Google or if, if we don't have Zoom, what we do? Any idea? Just start. Yeah. Manishaji. Uh, could you please unmute yourself and let me know uh, if we don't have Zoom or Google or any other uh, tribe or WhatsApp or anything, how we can meet each other? Through the later. Yeah, later. Sorry? Through the later. Through the later, yes. But I can't teach these all things in on later. Like how easy we have at the moment. Have you heard about the telepathy? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Everyone knows about it. Huh. Yes. A very little amount of the thing we have experienced in our life. I was thinking about somebody. I was thinking about something, and it comes up to you. What is that? That's called your inner self is connect to the higher self. Yeah. We don't need anything else. We no need any internet. We no need any other connection. Got the point? But the problem is we are not making ourselves that much higher. And that's why we need this all, we need to rely on these all things. And that's where 
in um, uh, in bhagavatam or any other shastra says that day by day our life our body and our mind is going to lose their own entity means whatever you have in your mind whatever you have in your body it will reduce day by day because we are not using it full now science also accepted it if you don't use it you will not get it right so this is the theory we are going to accept it in our life so how different vedic science is helps to understand own self beyond mind body and soul which we just uh, discuss about it uh, helps to gain the knowledge about supreme energy called god and helps to align thought word and action so this is where we are not aligning ourselves thought whatever we are thinking whatever we are saying it's not in our action that is the problem we are always struggling with align ourselves to the higher self okay how many of you are doing puja in the morning a very simple question a puja or i could say what you are doing in the morning first thing in the morning yeah i i, I do briefly uh, okay. i do puja as well puja right why you do puja to make your mind calm and sometimes feel very good when you just do puja when i'm just sit down there i feel really good and just i feel like uh like kind of meditation okay yeah right so digisha ben also doing it kunjan ben also doing it so can you please tell me digisha ji why you do puja raise positive energy anything else energy yeah any any other answer manisha ji positive vibe positive energy uh, give good meditative stage anything else um keep us humble actually uh, we, you just want to believe that there's something higher than you and that makes you humble yep perfect anything else to connect with god okay at that time we are uh, in touch with god yep okay anything else which we don't know why we do these all things why it's become a part of our life who said to do this my dear parents my dear ancestors were doing it and you follow it how it comes in your mind first time in your life tell me you share your ideas how it comes to your mind that you need to do puja who said to you our elders taught us to do puja that is yes uh, our parents or uh, like parents. Yeah. yeah so this is the only answer we can say our parents our family and how we born and brought up in the environment whatever we saw we follow it right and up to some age uh, when we started to observing we start questioning how many of you have question why we pray krishna sorry why we pray or we offer puja to krishna most of the people are praying krishna or any uh, any god why we pray them did you ever ask to your parents yep krishna stands for balance anything else
to get their blessings mm -hmm. why what we don't have which they have they had Krishna solution also, of, yeah they had solution yeah. of everything it has a solution for everything so you believe in it why because Why? they have superior energy superior energy who said it our Why? our grants vedas etc okay did you heard it uh, did you read it how you know about it that it says this things i read column in newspaper newspaper but you didn't uh, under actually read the book of veda or whatever mm -hmm. it is no never okay. anybody here who has 100% understanding of what is veda and what veda says about hello <clears throat> from bhagavad gita we learn krishna's uh... yeah He is the supreme power, Brahma. Yes. Thank you, Dinka Ji. Thank you for your input. Love it. Anybody else has any uh, any other uh, answer? Okay. So we are going for the next slide, and which shows us what Veda says. the famous verses of the yajur veda which every arya arya means the human at that time we called arya is enjoined to recite both morning and evening we all know about the sikal sandhya unfortunately we all forget it we never ever used to pray any particular god as a human we always pray this way पशेन शरद शत जीवेत शरद शत शुणुयाम शरद शत प्रभ्रवाम शरद शत भूयश्च शरद शता यू नो व्हाट आई एम ट्राइंग टू टेल यू राइट द ग्रेट आई हैज ऑलरेडी प्लेस्ड इन आवर बीइंग अ पोटेंशियलिटी और सीड पावर मे वी सी अ हंड्रेड इयर्स मे वी हियर the hundred of years may we preach a hundred years and may we live free hundred years a several century what is the meaning does it says anywhere that i am the power of god or i am the god no it has a name in each and every century a different name ram krishna bharat whatever it is there is some power there is some energy and we used to pray in that way so if we are a hindu like believe in this energy right doesn't matter what the name we are placing either buddha jesus sir, or any 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 they are holding their power 100% why we are not we have that little bit boundary in it and that's where we are not superior and like that and that's why we have a tradition to pray not really pray actually we are asking your help from them that whatever you have like why we bow down to our elder parents or uh, like you know our relatives whom so ever elder why we touch to their feet we asking their wise wisdom we asking their knowledge we asking their experience to share with us and we bow down to those things 
and that is in our practice that whomsoever has that little extra from or beyond us that's where we go down to them and that is the practice come as a puja in our routine life got the point these all questions since childhood i have in my mind and i was struggling each and every day why i need to do puja what the stotra i should follow what the mala what the bead what the name i should follow what the mantra om namah shivaya or shri krishna sharana mama or what 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 why i should do those things what i want and that's all questions lead me to understand these things might i am wrong i am not saying 100% right but what i come to know i am sharing with you might it's a different aspect you have in your life but what i have uh, read a uh, books uh, what i have read all the uh, information to make this presentation i am giving you as a bibliography at the end of this session so you can uh, go and research your own so this is the thing a uh, basic knowledge of veda is on the three aspect ishwar vishwas like a faith in god god means what we have just re, uh, discussed atma vishwas means self confidence and patru bhava means brotherhood what this says say think with can you tell me anybody got the idea are you uh, agree with this thing first of all yes okay perfect thank you very much anybody doesn't agree with this um uh, please openly tell me if you don't agree with this that make that makes more understanding to a, each and every one might you don't agree just like that other person also don't agree as well okay so here everyone is agree right so we are going to next slide what is it what ishwar vishwas means pessimistic philosophy like you know whenever we go to coles or anybody uh, any other places it says camera surveillance this area is in under the camera right anybody has heard this thing or have have you noticed this thing when you go to the supermarket or everywhere this area under surveillance of the camera yeah. yes yes why is that so why so bhaji can you tell me why is that so uh you need to unmute yourself too uh it's a still not muted it is a still muted god is watching us some yeah? somebody is watching us that what we are somebody doing. is watching us so what do you do if so somebody what we we remain in uh, our boundary we don't cross our boundary we don't do anything wrong that's why yeah what is wrong uh, the, the the super stoga may be thinking that somebody may be stole, stealing something yes we avoid that they, they may be watching us yes and we are in the either Sorry. camera is working or not mm. we are in the Uh, the impression that it's working right yes right everybody is agree with that right yes yes perfect have you ever think that somebody is watching us 24 by 7 what happen if we steal something from the store and camera is not working what happened nothing 
and if camera is on and somebody is also watching what happens bad karmas true but who judge this is the bad karma who judge who is judging we ourselves right so this is the pessimistic philosophy that negates the very purposeful and meaningful life does science today's science teach us these things the pessimistic life somebody is watching you all the time the meaningful the purposeful life does anybody teaching us does science teach us no because this is the bottom line of a human being's life and who teach us who taught us our ancestors you no need to stay you need to always speak the truth who taught us these all things does anybody tell us while we were kids did we try anything wrong yes most of us agree yeah yes most of us we have tried a different thing which is not good in a way of our parents eyes or eye sight yeah and still some sometimes our kids are also doing it do we tell them this is right or this is wrong yes yes we do why something is good might be for other it's wrong something is right for me it might be wrong for dinkar bhai might be it's wrong for vidya ji why is that so because we have very limited eyesight we can't see we can't see a whole right and that is why that does not mean that you no need to do anything because see sometimes what happens pessimistic philosophy is some problem comes in my life okay i just want a answer from each of you for this example nothing is right and wrong they are perceptions based on yes i like your answer vidya ji nothing is right and wrong they are perceptions based on some version of truth we believe in absolutely correct so this is the thing like if i am in a condition where i am in a really bad very bad situation where i can't get the way what i do what i do dinkar ji could you please give me answer the way i am in the situation i don't get any way to come out of it what i do um you need to unmute yourself please yes just let me say brahman uh, god remember and send a uh, chanting and uh, uh, remembering uh, we can change our life okay um pina ji kalpesh ji uh quickly please uh, uh unmute yourself and let me know uh, we are still only half of the way and we have a lot of things to cover to bring him has all the power yeah i think if i think about like you know if i'm in that situation then i would 
I would like, you know, try to do what I can do, like, but then it's on a pessimistic way and obvious, like, faith in the, keep keeping the faith in the God with a bit of patience and, yeah, Sraddha, basically, you know, uh, and mm -hmm. that's what I do. Yeah. Prayer. Yes, excellent, uh, Rina Ji. So, we need to do prayer, but for whom, for where our prayer is going? Any base. We need any base. And that's where we have Ram, Krishna, Buddha, whatever it is. Right? So it doesn't go anywhere in the world. It has something. Something. Either my Guru, either my Krishna, or whatever it is. Whatever the idol you prefer to choose to. And that's where I have some something in, in front of me, which is I belongs to. I feel like I belongs to part of it. So Krishna is the versatile uh, idol. Everybody loves to see him. Everybody likes his uh, all the leelas and whatever he has done in his life. So most people is understand that my, this is the character which I resonate very, very like, you know, it's not like a devta. It's like, just like me. And whatever happened in his life, same thing happened in my life. And still he come out of it very easily. So I just want his good vibes or his all the support in my life. And we all know that he is giving us that faith, that um, power, everything in a different way of like without any internet, we connect with him very easily, right? So that's where we do prayer, we do puja, and that's in a Vedic science, ultimately, right? So that's where it started. Actually. It's not completed from there. It's a start from there. And then that means we are doing something which we can't show anyone. Atma Vishwas. Atma means the self, confidence, right? Atma means own self. How it works as a own self. That is another uh, area of understanding the Atma means what is Atma and what is this body and this all thing we learn in Ayurveda, in yoga, where you can spend your entire life to understand who is yourself, like who am I, okay? But here we are learning a little bit. Atma means own self, Paramatma means supreme self which we don't, what is we don't have, what we are praying. Atma is the limited of subject, means existence. We know what this is our existence. We are alive and our consciousness. But Paramatma has a subject and Ananda. Means he is, we can say he or she is out of the boundary of existence and consciousness. It's beyond it. And that's why Ananda is missing in Atma, in ourselves. And that's, that's, therefore, we, whatever we do, always include Paramatma in a mean of prayer, which we just discussed. I hope you got understanding. Yeah? In Gita, uh, from Nan Yoga, Karma Yoga, or Bhakti Yoga, we learn everything uh, for our life. Yes. Perfect. I don't mind to uh, understand these things and I don't mind to accept it. But if I hurt myself, can I say I don't have enough, I don't, I am not in a pain? No. We have to accept, I have a pain by burning. I have a pain by cut myself. Is anybody here who don't have this feeling? Yeah, everybody has that feeling. 
If I cut myself, I have a pain. If I injured myself, I have a pain. How I come out of it? Vedic science help you to get understanding what's in your hand. Your hand. You have only prayer in your hand and only something which you can come out of it. And that's you need to do. Right? So never ever accept this philosophy that this is the Maya, this is the illusion, this is the Atma and Atma doesn't have these all things. Unless, until you reach up to that stage. Understand? Unless, until you reach up to that understanding, that wisdom, that power from your Guru. Please don't be in a dilemma. Like, oh, Sastra says these things and we are in this stage. I am suffering 40 years in this dilemma. 40 years. And just now I realized these things that what actually Veda is. And that's where I would like to share these things with you. Never ever live in that dilemma that Nainam Chindantri Sastrani. It is true. But it's not practical for my way of understanding. I am having pain. What I should do? I can do one thing. Prayer. Get extra, extra uh, power from that to myself. To come out of it. What's in my hand? I need to go and see the doctor. To get a suture. Or get a repair. Or get a healing. I need to find somebody to help me to come out of it. I can't stay by side and just think that, oh, Ninam Chinnandi Sastrani. That means I don't have pain. No, I am in a pain. So never ever, if this is Niskriyava. We are not in a Niskriyava. We have to do something and that's where Atma Vishwas comes in a place. Right? And next is, Self-confidence is completely relied on three things, austic and sattvic bhojana, vyayam or vayasevana, and brahmacharya. So always be conscious, whatever you are eating, whatever the exercises you do, whatever the breathing even you do, and whatever you are thinking, whatever your thoughts, whatever your wording, whatever your actions, it's each and everything in your life should be have must we have any consciousness is there. Right? And the next one is Bhatru Baba. Treat the whole world as a own family. We all know about Vasudai and If we if we see each and everyone as my brothers and sisters, you know, when we were a kid in a school, we always uh, pray these things that Bharat Maro Desh Che Bada Bharatiyo Mara Bhai Banincha. In a Gujarati, we call it like this. So, this is India is the whole, uh, my family, and each and every uh, brother, uh, each and every one is my brother and sister. Can't, because this is the only nation, India. But Veda always says this entire universe is my family. Vasudaiva Kutumbakam. From the Vasudev, whomsoever come from. So, in the other hand, we can say Krishna has, Krishna is the ultimate source of the energy and he made this whole entire universe. So, each and every one of us is a part of it. And whomsoever is part of it, we can say brothers and sisters. I hope you understand these all things. Yes? It's so easy. So we can adopt from our Vedas why we do puja, why we have a snana or a massage or some people has a daily routine like a, this is the way only like a vegetarian diet, non-vegetarian diet, um, what we do for the longevity like a daily yoga practice or going out or 
some other like a praying uh, different gurus or santa or sadhu samagam or satsanga this all practices is just coming from veda because it's rely on something beyond us and we always ask that supreme power from that supreme energy how can we practice both at a time so modern science and vedic science as we discussed before modern science gave us a technology transport uh, it's a practical knowledge base and it and we are experiencing at the moment as well where it's come from as uh, kalpesh ji started uh, kardam ji has um, uh, kardam rishi has uh, first yeah you know they applied or we can say the um, um, that uh, we can transport ourselves all over the world uh, with lots of um, uh, servants and uh, lots of uh, different things uh, in it we can say nowadays uh, different air hostess but the difference between that uh, aircraft and this aircraft is the modern science has made a, a thing which we need to operate somebody has to um, you know start the machine but in vedic science or in veda area they are making the thing which is working in a power of your mind your brain so mind has that power that you can even you know start your car so those things we already miss we again need to gain that knowledge and how it could it could be possible use your consciousness use your senses which given uh, by our wonderful god and gain the wisdom why is that so what is this and it's typically theory based once our guru always says one thing theory without practice what we can say theory only theory we understand but we don't have any practical what we can say it's a senseless we don't get any sense in it if we do only and only practical and we don't have any theory what we do it's like completely nonsense baseless theory always gives you a base some understanding so vedic science has that understanding why it's happening what is happening why it's happening and modern science has that experience the practical knowledge we have to be combined both of them and then only we can leave this world so not only modern science not only vedic science will help us right so why should we allow it in our life our life has limitation we want limitless independence anybody is disagree with this anybody disagree with this we all want limitless independence right फ्रीडम चाहिए वो लिमिटलेस होनी चाहिए दैट्स द बॉटम लाइन व्हाट टाइप ऑफ फ्रीडम वी वांट व्हाट टाइप ऑफ लिमिटलेस वी वांट वी डोंट हैव एनी आईडिया एट ऑल वेयर एवर वी आर वी आर नॉट कंटेंट या कैन एनीबॉडी शेयर योर आइडियाज प्लीज मतलब आप खूब ताकत लगा के 
एक बैलगाड़ी को धक्का लगाओ बट ये अपेक्षा मत करो कि वो आगे जाए इधर देख स्टैंडिंग राइट Might I am going on that way, but I am not at the moment. The punyarvi jananam, punyarvi maranam, punyarvi baji janani jasha sahe nam baji govi nam baji govi. Baji govi nam yehi hai paas hai ki janma ki ham mante ki har baar janma hota hai. Kuch acha karma hoga to acha hoga. Agar karma bure honge to usi tarah se. Perfect. Aati hai to moksh se baat karte hain jaldi hai. Yes. So this is just my understanding that before. we um ask for the escape of the life and birth cycle we have to understand what we are where we are and that's called vedic science in this era might all of you have seen this uh, different ages we don't have even in our home fridge telephone tv after some time we got those all facilities in our home some of you might have seen that we don't have tap the nal to get the water in our home right no electricity and now we have each and everything thanks to science we don't uh, argue with those things definitely we are thankful for it but basic science says use consume all those facility in a conscious way if you do need don't use it okay and very quickly we finish our uh, uh, talk are you doing anything to enjoy your basic science in your life share your ideas First, we all know you all are doing prayer. Anything else? Kirtan, bhakti, kirtan. Kirtan, bhakti. Anything else? So we. Sorry. Chanting of mantras. Yeah. Anything else? Mantras. Ah, uh, kalpeshi. Yeah, I was thinking about like you know taking care of the nature, for example, right? You know because that's uh, that's yes. even of course where we are living in our surroundings, we need to take care of it. Anything else? Also helping others for yes. like what we have, yeah. Mm -hmm. How? What else? We we try like you know we try. to only like you know even within the mind as well as within the materialistic life as well right in the home mm -hmm. uh, we'll just keep the stuff what we required what we needed rather than like you know buying and storing and like you know filling up the homes uh, the surrounding area so i will just burden a bit of meditation as well yep perfect so thank you very much all your inputs so this is our uh, our practical tools some ideas do gardening as um, pakeshi said uh, go for walk breathing exercise and yoga whatever you can do either you can breathe just breathe consciously that's also a big help in this universe because you are not spreading your negativity or positivity in this world 
So if you are not spreading your uh, negativity or positivity in the world, definitely there is a less traffic in that era as well. Do you got any? Yes. Because I've got one question. Uh, it's good, like you know, you brought this point. Uh, uh, just questions, like you know, uh, for example, uh, when when we go out and like, walk, right? You know, uh, yes. and in the nature, uh, when yes. we do a namaskaran loudly, if there is no one surrounding us, then sometimes we do the namaskaran, you know, a bit loudly. Does it yes. mean we are we are uh, we are spreading the uh, good vibration uh, into the atmosphere or? Yes, absolutely. You are aligned without his permission. You can't loudly chant his name. This is the ultimate of Vedic science. So if you feel to spray, uh, chant something uh, loudly, that means you are aligned with that um, higher energy. So don't, um, don't be upset. Do it. That's fine. Absolutely. Okay, good. Thank you very much. Next, uh, switch off electricity once a week. Have you heard about it? Can you think about it? Which is really very hard for us in our day. No electricity for uh, one day. My God, what's going to happen in our fridge Saturday, Sunday, full of stuff. Even some people doesn't know. After one month, some things are expired. Even some people I have seen in their frozen stuff, frozen department, I could say, time to reboot your brain. Yes, of course. Thoughts, words, actions. These all things. We need to reboot our system. And so we start from our fridge. Because female and male, doesn't matter. We all are in working era. Nine to five job. Nowadays, lots of people are working from home. So lots of things, frozen things, because lockdown become very harder and harder. Might we don't know, we don't get something by tomorrow. And that's where we just grab or oh, whatever we can and just put it in the fridge. So try just once a week uh, for a couple of hours if you can. Switch off your internet every night. Everybody can do this. 9 p.m. to 9 a.m. If you can do 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. would be also great. It will be a big help to our environment. Go to your destination by walking, biking, or use public transport. If you can do it, that would be great. Use natural resources. Natural sources. Use your natural herbs to wash your hair, at least you can do this. Um, ash to clean your utensils by, you know, we are offering yagya or agnihotra. Um, if you can do by, you know, nowadays um, COVID situation, we try to do yagya. If you can do every day, at least five minutes, that would be great. And it will help uh, to purify our air, and create loss pollution and at the same time we can use that ash to spread it into our garden or we can use our use our clean our utensils. Um, use environmentally friendly utensils rather than plastic. Nowadays these things is, is really very common. Uh, we are using our own bag as much as we can. Right? So thank you very much everyone you know, all your time. Uh, if you still have any question, you can ask me anytime. Uh, some basic understanding, always be in present. Use technology only when you need it. Choose your transport wisely. Be conscious while talking, uh, taking in your thoughts, sight, hearing and food. Be ready to help others without any expectation. That's the biggest thing. And I hope we have covered this all thing. What is science? What is Vedic science? What is the similarities in both sciences? Uh, what's different in Vedic science? Uh, how can we practice both at once? Why should we allow it in our life? What can be done in regular life to enjoy the Vedic science? And some of the practical tools. 
can everyone share with me what one thing you like during this session? We just winding up in two minutes. Uh, just quickly unmute all your mic, quick, so you can do one by.